Any luck with your chemical hunt, sir? I believe we found the chemical. Are you alright, sir? I'm fine, Alfred. Just lightheaded. I'm probably dehydrated. Either that, or we haven't yet recovered from the onslaught of debutantes and socialites from tonight's gala. Honestly, Master Bruce, how do you cope? Just one of the pitfalls of being a billionaire bachelor, I suppose. Well, looks like I missed a lot while I was gone. Two nights ago, my analyzers picked up traces of the chemical along the Sprang River that stopped at the bridge. Word on the street is that Croc sold it to an unnamed buyer. And then this morning, the law firm Adams and O'Neill was attacked. Yes, I read about it in the Gazette. They had just secured a case to tear down an old botanical garden for a new construction site. Most unfortunate. The victims had suffocated from chemically augmented flowers sprouting through their windpipes. Open Gotham file 1810666. Code word cause. I think we know where Poison Ivy's newest alterations to her plants came from. <coughs> there aren't many more dangerous hands it could have fallen into. I'm reading high levels of carbon dioxide in there, sir. The rebreather will filter it out. Ivy's biology requires a level of carbon dioxide most humans can't withstand. But she's still part human. And she still... needs... <coughs> Sir? Did the rebreather malfunction? <coughs> oh, is it allergies? The pollen is rich this season. Don't worry, darling. I'll give you relief. Sweet, sweet relief. I guess my spoons were too much for you this time. Sir, this wasn't from the atmosphere. There's something else. While I've got you on your knees, I just want you to know why those two lawyers' deaths did give me great pleasure. It was an accident. I just wanted to share my opinions on what should be done with this beautiful garden. <coughs> you see, they didn't realize a rare flower still grew here. Or that its pollen had remarkable transformative properties. Sir, you have minutes before you go into cardiac arrest. <coughs> hmm. I tried to show them. When the pollen combined with the mulch with a dab of that chemical you've been so worked up about. When it all comes together, it provides the body with an instant upgrade from Mother Nature, bringing us one step closer to Eden's own. But you saw the results? Personally, I blame the mulch. Homeless and strays don't provide the best nutrients. Even when they're ground down, you're... insane. Then I figured it out. The final step. Right now, the finest specimens in Gotham are about to enter the final stage of my newest toxin. To become the perfect compost. Athletes, businessmen, scientists, even billionaire socialites. Alright, how about this? I give you all my numbers, and then we can all be out. <clears throat> no man can resist a kiss. And you? You'll make the finest mulch for my formula. And you can save not only Gotham, but the entire world. Sir, I implore you, return to the cave for treatment! 
And don't burden yourself with thoughts of rescuing them. The only antidote is a second dose of my toxin. A kiss. To fight a kiss. Levels are at minimum. Are you alright? I'm fine. Get this toxin out to every hospital with patients that have similar symptoms. They won't have much time. At once, sir. Do you have the chemical at last? Yes. I'll keep it at the cave until. <laughs> Ha ha ha!